Hey there guys, it's Jack Ray here from Jazz Banjo Academy. Welcome back to another installment of Trad Thursday. This week we're going to play Walter Donaldson's Love Me or Leave Me. This is written for the show Making Whoopee. We're going to do this in the key of F minor. Yes, that was Walter Donaldson's Love Me or Leave Me. Uh, so I played the verse to begin with, uh, and then probably the more familiar chorus. Just did each once through. Uh, so let's talk about the chorus mostly, because that's what you'll play most of the time. Uh, people don't generally expect you to know the verses. However, this one is, is quite a nice verse. Um, two versions I found that had nice renditions of this verse were a solo piano version by Fats Waller, uh, and also Billie Holiday sings the verse, uh, which is lovely. So let's talk about the A sections of this tune to begin with. So something that's really important to talk about is that we're starting in F minor, which although it's relative to A flat major, if we look at the melody of this piece, we're not using diatonic notes from A flat major. Rather, the scale that the first half of the melody in the A sections is based on would be an ascending melodic minor, sometimes also called a jazz melodic minor. Now this, sounds, this scale sounds like this. That's an F melodic minor. Uh, now in classical music we tend to have them descend in a different fashion, but if we're talking about in terms of jazz, the melodic minor scale ascends and descends in the same way. Now this scale is important to know if we're looking at this melody, because we start on a C, okay, that's in the key of a flat, or an out F, uh, F natural minor scale, but now we go to G7 to C7, and the melody notes are D natural and E natural. Now both of those belong to an F melodic minor scale, but they wouldn't fit diatonically into the key of A flat. So that's our opening phrase of the chorus, and then we repeat that phrase. Now we're into A flat. And that's all very diatonic. So we've got the nice contrast of a, of a melodic minor, of F melodic minor, and A flat major. So that in the A flat, it's a pretty standard turnaround with 1 to 6. So that's F minor 7, 2. Put in a little half step to embellish the melody. Five, so that's E flat seven, A flat. So it's an A A B A tune. So that's seventy five percent of the chorus done there. So let's talk about the bridge on this tune now. Now we start on F seven, and we're going to cycle around in fourths. So we're going F seven for two bars to B flat minor, and that's just a quick little tonicization of B flat minor. So B flat minor, F seven, B flat minor. Then E flat seven to A flat. And we do a little quick step down to get back to F minor. G seven, G flat seven, throw in the C seven to get back to F minor. Well thanks for watching. My name's Jack Ray. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Trad Thursday. We'll be back next week with a brand new tune. So remember to click subscribe or press like if you're watching us on Facebook. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.